Hi, it's The Wire. It is August the 31st, 2024. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Moments ago, I just lost the fight. While the memory is fresh, let's discuss it. It's Diego Pacheco's victory over Selecki. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, Diego Pacheco is going to be the mandatory for the winner of a guy he sparred against already, Canelo, versus Edgar Belanga, right? Just understand the bet I recommended. Pacheco went off as a 28-1 to favorite. Selecki was an 11-1 to underdog. Yes, the casino had a huge vig in there, right? The bet I recommended was to take the over six and a half rounds, midway point of the seventh round, hedged with Pacheco by stoppage in round seven through 12, right? In other words, I thought we would make it through the first half of the fight, the first six rounds. Now understand what happened. This is a must watch fight. Selecki comes out, and in my opinion, he wins the first two rounds. He has great movement. He's moving his head. In the pre-fight video, I talked about his head movement. He's landing right hands to a very thin Pacheco's body, right? Pacheco is 6'4", but yet he weighs 168 pounds, right? So understand, Selecki is making me very happy. He's not only seemingly on his way to the second half of the fight, folks, he has a chance to win the fight, right? He runs into some turbulence at the end of the fourth round. He gets hit with some shots, but he survives the last 15 seconds of the fourth round. This is a guy with great survival skills, had never been stopped, has lost a couple of fights, has been knocked down in other fights, but always seems to recover. So, of course, we get to the sixth round. Now, understand, <laughs> if he makes it through the sixth round, I'm good. If, in the opening seconds of the seventh round, Pacheco gets the stoppage, right? Or any time after that. Right? If Pacheco gets the stoppage, I'm good. If we make it to the midway point of the seventh round, I'm very good. Because then both sides of the hedge are in play. Right? The over is six and a half rounds. So with Selecki hiding his head masterfully, moving, moving around the ring, so Pacheco has to work to find him. The setup couldn't have been better for me. I'm looking at the TV. I thought, okay, well, this is a win because this guy's not going to get stopped this round, right? We're in the six. I just need the guy to survive the six. Then you see why Pacheco is an A-level prospect. Let me set it up this way. Pacheco's right-handed. He has an excellent jab, right? It's a left jab. Now, Pacheco throws his right hand, his dominant hand, and Selecki ducks under it, right? Selecki is defensively minded. There's no let up. He doesn't slip on defense. He doesn't get negligent. No, he's alert. He slips Pacheco's straight right. He has his guard up to guard against body shots. He's moving away from Pacheco. This is the guy who slips the shot, doesn't stay in the pocket. He then starts to back away. Pacheco then throws. This is after missing with his dominant hand. Then throws a left hook that somehow makes it around. Selecki's elbow. 
In other words, folks, this is the body shot that gets through defects, right? It hits Selecki immediately. The fight changed completely. Selecki goes down. He's in a fetal position. Folks, the fight changed that fast. He does not beat the count. More importantly, this liver shot, it's the perfect liver shot. This liver shot keeps Selecki down well after the count of 10. Right, folks, it's devastating. I haven't seen a liver shot like this since Bernard Hopkins, Oscar De La Hoya. Right? Let me just say, Diego Pacheco is a major talent. There's no question about that. He has major power. He just beat a very wily, very game veteran who was fighting one of his best fights. Selecki's a very good fighter, had only lost to Danny Jacobs and Demetrius Andre. Was defensively minded in the very exchange that ended the fight. The fact that Pacheco at 23, and again, 6'4", but he knows his way around the pocket. The fact that Pacheco has the presence of mind to when he misses the big shot, his big right hand, to come back with the left hook shows you why he's dangerous. This is a guy who, as they say in the trade, puts his punches together. This is not a pot shotter. Right? So the end result is I needed the fight to make it to the seventh round. It did not. <laughs> Selecki, this is one of those fights where you bet on a guy the guy does everything you hoped he would do. Selecki fought magnificently. Folks, he's in it to win it, not to go the distance. He's winning some rounds against Diego Pacheco. He comes out on his front foot and has Pacheco backing up. He fought excellently. But I still lost... I have no excuses. Um, Pacheco is an excellent fighter. And this is what excellent fighters do. They can beat you even when you have your A game. Right? Lost for me on both sides of the hedge. Did not make it to the second half of the fight. Keep a close eye on Diego Pacheco. I think everyone's bluffing. Understand. Eddie Hearn was at the fight. And Eddie was boldly saying, look, you know, I'm not sure if Diego Pacheco is fully ready for Canelo Alvarez, but when you're the mandatory, you have to take the shot, right? You know, whether you're ready or not, you have to take the shot, right? Just understand, do the research. These two guys have sparred already, right? Diego Pacheco is trying to act low-key and respectful, right? Canelo has earned his place in boxing. Pacheco is trying to act respectful toward Canelo. Understand, a few days ago, Diego Pacheco was calling out Canelo, right? Let's be real. I think the Pacheco people, and he's trained by David Benavides' father. Understand, there's no, <laughs> there's no love loss between the people behind Diego Pacheco and Canelo. I believe the people behind Diego Pacheco privately feel that Pacheco, who throws, as I found out firsthand here, a beautiful left hook, right, to go with a beautiful jab and a beautiful straight right hand, right? Uh, the bottom line is that, you know, the people behind Diego Pacheco feel that they're ready for a coup against Saul Alvarez. Right? We'll see what happens in that Alvarez Berlanga fight. Just understand, tonight, the guy who won the fight is now the mandatory for the winner of Saul Alvarez, Edgar Berlanga. 
right? I lost on this one. We're going to have to get back to the blackboard and back to fight film, right? Um, let me just say, there are going to be fights you lose where things actually unfold the way you hoped. And still, a great performance can come in and trump it. I thought Pacheco was about to be stretched into the later rounds. To be blunt here, I was wrong. Excellent left hook offhand. Excellent left hook to the body. Ends the night. I congratulate Diego Pacheco. Keep an eye on him. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.